This time, Indiana taking on Wichita State. The team that started today in the lower bracket. Time to narrow down the top 12 to the top eight. This time, Indiana in their more traditional orange. How could they have success this time? Where could they find the space? Luckily for them, Gengar is no longer on the field. Instead, Cap, Boone, and Muse all joining on the blue side. And also seems to get be getting a little bit more aggressive. Chap faked out by Boone. Pop up high. Koda just picked up the boost. He could continue to play. He's helped out by Mario. One, two. Koda and Mario linking up to perfection. Not sure if this is exactly how they thought it would go. But a goal's a goal nonetheless. Indiana started out the last series well. Could they continue the trend? Cap wants to put it over to the right side. Views. Looking midfield for somebody, but Chev was there before any Wichita State players. Cap into the corner. Goes off the ceiling, looking for help from a teammate. Didn't have much in that department. Here comes Boone with 20 boost, looking for the top left. A dunk is going to push it wide. The attack still on for Wichita State. Here comes Cheb with an air dribble. Looking to get it to the corner. Hughes was waiting. Well defended this time by Wichita State. Cap has it up high. Hughes trying to get there first. Him and Cap working together. A ball loose out into the midfield and Coda got there first. It's going to be up. It's Cheb for IU. Looking to the left side. But he could capitalize off of this one. Cap. Got there first, if only Chab had a bit more boost to work with. A double demo, though, can't have time to think about that when Wichita State is trying to attack. Double demo made it scary. Cap couldn't tuck it under the crossbar. Coda didn't want to take any chances. Two players committed out of IU. Defense has looked suspect at times, and maybe perhaps no more suspect than right there. Here's an attacking chance. Coda not able to sneak it into the post. Had to be there quickly. He had any hopes at a scoring chance. Loops it off for Mario. Boom will clear long. Two players out of IU. Once again, diving on the defensive end. Coda makes the save, his third of the game. And Dash is to try to catch up to the ball, but he'll relinquish possession for Mario. Here comes Views, fully across the pitch. Maybe getting a little bit closer to the net than IU would have liked to see. To the corner, Chev trying to break out. This one could be open. If IU could get there first, Coda with a pass over to Mario. Barely sneaks it by the post. Oh, the goals haven't exactly been pretty for IU, but I'm sure they'll be happy that it found its way in there nonetheless. I would describe the gameplay as a bit nervy. It's one of the bigger tournaments that uh, you can play in. No CRL falls quite yet. We're hoping for that announcement to be sometime soon. We haven't had any confirmation or any kind of hints even. But Cheb, highlight play attempted. Highlight assist got. Mario helps him to finish off the play. Getting by one, getting by two. Cap in a very awkward position to deal with that one. Pick off back to Mario. Pushes it immediately to the blue half. IU is not done on the attacking side just yet. Hughes trying to scramble, looking for any kind of space. But all the space belongs to Indiana. Forces out of touch, Chep demoed, but wasn't exactly too involved in the play, but they're going to need somebody to challenge. Boom, slots in the open net. Mm -hmm. 
take off. It's back right to Coda. Mario to the left side. Coda will reading the waterfall to perfection. Doubling up his goal total. He matches Mario for two. Ran out of boost there. You see him try to match the, the trajectory of the ball. Reading it down as it falls directly in front of the net. A striker's delight seeing that. Lots of space for Boone in the midfield. Looking for the bump onto Chevy. Still got a piece of it. Helped out by Coda just in case. Here comes Fuse. It seems like Wichita. They tried to use each other early on in the game, but now it's mostly just solo plays. But the teamwork is there out of IU. He's with plenty of space, but Mario cuts it down quickly. Coda throws a shot onto net. Gets the goalkeeper out of the way as well. Cheb, one touch, past Boone. Hughes is there. Mario, next in line, looking for the bump, almost connected. Trying to create a chance for a fifth IU goal. 20 seconds left in this game, starting similarly, almost eerily similarly to how it started off against Western Michigan. And the final scoring chance. Gone by the wayside for Wichita State. Game number one belongs to IU for the second series in a row. Getting ready to start with game number two. Indiana played a very solid game one. The second series in a row that they've got off to a good start, but this is where it started to go awry. The ball into the midfield cap, looking for the double tap Coda. Had it read from a mile away. Mario off the ceiling, a challenge on to Boone, who looks for another 50 with Jeb. Fuse into the corner. Now Cheb with a bit of space. Only 18 boosts left. The best he can do is get a dunk onto Cap. Mario with a demolition could help out IU scoring chances. Coda threw a shot onto net. It was dangerous one, and this one could be dangerous as well. Through the smoke screen. Neither team ended up getting there early enough to make a play. Chap though, gets a 50. Back out towards Mario. No boost to play with. Use up high. Both teams playing a high-flying game in the air. Vienna's had the better game plan in that department. They just had a little bit more control. The mechanics just a little bit sharper for IU. Physical plays could always change that, though. Hughes getting a couple of demos. But Mario bought enough time. The IU rotations really didn't get affected that much. Chev throws that one into the corner. Waiting as the last line of defense in the midfield, trying to carry it over to some space. But he didn't find anything of use. Into the back wall. Can he find some space that time? This one a bit more effective as Coda's able to lob it downfield. Side to side gameplay for IU using up the X and Y axis. There's Chab into the midfield, but his intended target, Coda, was taken out. Here comes Coda throwing another one on target. Mario trying to cause a little bit of chaos. Just seeing what kind of touch he could come up with. It ended up not being anything. A dunk from Coda goes back towards uh, Mario. He finds Cheb on the right. An air dribble gets the carry over two. And Coda finishes him off. 
half the game elapsed and Chip. I don't think Wichita State thought that he could catch back up to that one. Looked like his initial touch just got a bit too far away from him, but enough boost in the tank to make something happen. Although an immediate kickoff goal, worst case scenario for IU. Best case scenario for Wichita State. It only took them three seconds to tie it up. A near mirror image of what we just saw almost to the advantage of IU. Well, the only complaint about the Hoosiers today is that their offense has looked a little bit stagnant. There's been a couple of double taps, but a bit readable. They're just looking for some defensive breakdowns instead of trying to create necessarily their own chances. Like to see a little bit more creativity out of IU. Here could here Coda could come. Off the side wall. Chev with a flip off the ceiling. That's more like it. Mario just a bit too slow. The Bronx with the uh, yeah. The Wichita State defender there in the way. More physical play out of IU. You see them trying to clear a path. Mario off the backboard. This could be Coda there. First a shot place center of the net. Boone was waiting for it right there. Tie ball game at one minute left to go. Chab to clear long to the left side. Also, I'm going to mention now, my chat was not voting, so any messages, I have not seen them. I see Chippy and Geo Tornado getting involved in the chat, so I'm sorry, but I didn't read any of that, so sorry about that. Back into the gameplay, 30 seconds left to go, but I think it's probably loaded now. Fingers crossed. 20 seconds left, IU could generate a scoring chance here. A bump onto Boone would help, but Mario didn't want to commit that much for it. Cap into the midfield. Jeb with some space to his left. Utilizes it. Maybe a 1-2 passing play. Perhaps Mario sending it back down to Jeb would have been the better play. Nonetheless, the ball still in the blue half where Wichita State would love to see it to the ground. Overtime for game two. Chep gets demoed immediately off the kickoff. One more popular kickoff strategy is the very fast cheat that a lot of teams are looking for. Back into the blue half we go. Mario gets a touch up high. Can go to finish it off. A bouncer trying to make its way into the net. But here comes Mario to finish him off. Cap gets the save. I think he was being harassed by Coda and just happened to be in the right spot. Could have been a good scoring opportunity for IU, but they come up empty yet again. They've been a little bit loose in finishing off these plays. They've had a couple of good opportunities that you think probably could be going in the back of the net. Haven't amounted to anything just yet. But they do have the pressure. A goal could come in at any time, and Sheb proves me right. Under a minute into overtime, Sheb forces it in. A team bump spells disaster for Wichita State. IU with a 2-0 series lead.
game number two. Only one more needed for IU. First 30 seconds. Sees another shot on net by Fuse. A ball kept in the orange box. Chad would love to break out, but Fuse refuses to let him. Here comes Coda. One on one with Cap. Can he do. Put that in with... no, that's what he was looking for. Perhaps looking for a flick or maybe a bump, even. Mario off to the sidewall. It's the boost steal as well. Totals running thin for Wichita State. Here comes a bump by Coda. No sticks near it. That one flying over Cheb's head. He's going to have to retreat. It's a touch to stall for time, but Boone is all over it. 1-2 passing play. Mario over to the right side. Coda is able to stick close to it. Cheb demo is the last line of defense, and Boone could have put a shot on that, that surely would have been a goal. Have the resources to make it happen. Cap with a boost deal, but he's immediately taken out by Mario. It's reset to 33 boost. He was trying to get past Coda. Not able to with the ball leaking out. Cheb is there first. Got put slowly on net. Mario up high. Coda called into action. That ball, a touch. And a save, what a save by Fuse on the goal line. Backflipping his way to safety. Cap looking for the counterattack, didn't have it in him. IU looking for something, some way to break out. Mario didn't have it on the left side, but maybe Coda will. He's off his own backboard and Coda knew he had to dodge the demo. I think Cheb was ready for the infield pass, but he's able to scramble back for control. A 50. On the views. Coda. Oh, Chad laid it on the ball. Got the touch by Coda. Rotations haven't looked as crisp as we have seen as of the fall semester. They've been good enough in the series. Two minutes left to go. IU searching for that final game win that they need. Minute 40 left, neither team able to get on the score sheet for game three. But a shot on net tried to change that immediately. Cheb picking up a savior medal. Fuse into space. He wants cap. He'll have him, Coda. What can I can come up with in the last one minute and 15 seconds? A 50 goes well into the orange or the blue half doesn't let it get any further though back and forth neither team really able to get much control ball stopped at midfield Coda with some space he's got Mario reaching in front of him Kirk looking for the demo who's got there in time not enough boost to make a quick counter attack turn into a goal Chad with control off his own goal line as to 50 with Boone Coda. A long shot is going to be dealt with easily by Fuse, who takes it into the corner. Missed the corner boost, though. Still got about half a tank to work with. Coda. A high arcing ball off the backboard, but Cap was ready for it. Have to play it out of the orange half once more. And this one could be wide open for Fuse. Not exactly sure what happened to the IU defense. Perhaps Cap faking out Chev. And only 20 seconds left. IU trails by one. The 
Wichita stayed ahead. Dakota with a flip reset wants to change that though. Gets control, brought it to the ground. He didn't have as much control as he needed. Perhaps Chev will. A pinch inviting Mario to take this shot. Koda's going to be the last one to try and make anything happen. A zero second goal by Mario! Ties us up at the buzzer. Defensive breakdown. Wichita State did not have the players in place. Overtime forced by IU. Neutral kickoff, Cap with a tip up into the air. Views next up to follow, looking for the back wall. He has the flip to work with, and he stays just above the ground. Goes Cap and Cheb over to the left side. Tried to get it past Views. Thought he was going to be coming in a little bit faster than he actually was. Coda to Cheb. Cheb passed Views. Left side for him. Order. Tried to fake it past Boone. He was a little bit too keen for that kind of play. Coda looking for a mid-air dunk. Mario to try to finish off the play. No. And now Boone with control. We're back over to the orange shaft now. Boone carries us there. Both teams have had a little bit more control. But no quality scoring opportunities. Just trying to jostle for some boost. Boost, jostle for some kind of midfield control. Perhaps Cheb could do something off the ceiling, setting up. Coda looking for the bottom left save by Boo. Indiana now all over the ball. They've got a good position at Cheb, dropping that one down to the bottom left of the net. An unexpected shot, but Wichita State had the player ready for it. Coda trying to break out. They've spent a lot of time in the blue half in the overtime, but this one going straight into the net. Worst case scenario for IU. A 50 by well, Cheb, who ended up touching it last. No players were there. IU drops game number three. Wichita State clawing back into the series. Slowly but surely, they have the first step that they need for the reverse sweep. To kick off game four, Wichita State will have a bit of momentum that they will need to try to complete the reverse sweep. You need everything to go your way. Oda taken out of the play. Wasn't going to have too much involvement, but he will be required here. Deb instead will have it to the corner. It's a dunk, but it's only as far as Views, who has plenty of time. Cheb trying to cut down the space, though. There's Mario to keep it in the blue half. When he gets bumped, he would have surely been next up to that ball. We'll try to stay close. Wichita State just seems to be layering their defense a little bit better than they did in the first couple of games. Chab a race to the ball, and he's not got much boost left to work with. Hughes, could he get a bump off the backboard? Looking for Mario. Maybe got a piece of him. And now IU scrambling back. A pass. Looking central for Cap. Mario tries to stay behind the ball. Let's go to have a teammate in the midfield. No, it's going to be Cap there first. Chab. Racing back. Would love to see it to the corner. It's got a bit more in the tank left to continue the play. Didn't have enough. Coder acquired. Didn't come up with the second touch that he was looking for. Demo on to Cheb. Mario puts that one long. 
Just looking for a little bit of space to break out. Coda could put a shot on him right. It's saved by Cap. The goal line defense out of Wichita State has kept them alive in the series. Nothing omitting on the counterattack, though. Coda off the backboard. Didn't have enough in him. Boone is up in the air. Only has one touch, but Cheb maybe backflipped. Last line of defense. Cap going to put a shot on net. What a save by Coda! Pitching it off the bar. He's still got more work to do. Boone sweeping in for the kill. Drop down to views was cut out by Coda. IUK narrowly, or IU rather, narrowly escapes. A dunk though is going to make its way past. That's the second dunk on the Cheb that has been directly in his net. The 50 50 is a bit careless. This one more of a dunk rather than a challenge, but the same rules apply. Wichita State has looked excellent. Their defense has kept them in it. Just waiting for the right opportunity to strike on offense. Playing a safer brand of Rocket League. And IU really just doesn't want to commit too heavily to some of these plays. They're going to have to start getting more aggressive. A pass over to Mario. Could put them back in the right direction. Coda to the top right. Not good. Not good enough to go in. Chad could carry it to the midfield. Almost got the own goal off the defender. There's a shot dropped down by Mario. Who's going to find its way in. A pinch by Coda to set up the play. It's been a relatively close series, at least in each individual game. Both teams seem to be evenly matched. Wichita State has to come back from behind in the series. A tie game, it could go either way. Wichita State, though, needs it to stay alive. Mario looking for the backboard, but Cap tried to get a pass out to a teammate. Cheb has the flip to work with. Got it past Cap as well. Just not expecting the flip to the backboard. Can Coda finish off the play? No. Boone cuts it out. Another midfield pass attempted. This one a little bit behind Cheb. Wichita State scrambling. Have the players necessary to counterattack. Muse with a 50. Tried to get it past. Boone off the side wall. Cap a double commit out of Wichita State. This could be a good chance for IU to break out. Well recovered by Wichita State. Back to the blue corner. Can IU finish it off in regulation? Drop down pass for Mario. Kept it in the box. But a shot on target. Perhaps just a little bit too difficult from that angle. Coda clears it away. Final one second now remaining. And they will let it hit the ground. Overtime back to back. Wichita State got the better of IU in the last overtime. What will we get for game four? Dunk onto Cheb requires the aid of Coda to clear. Boom with a touch. High into the midfield. Coda beats out Cap, but it's only pushed back into the blue half where Fuse is waiting. Up to the orange half we go. Coda, a savior medal on him. Chad bumped as the last line of defense. This could be awkward for IU, and they concede in 30 seconds. Cap takes advantage of the chaos. And now a reverse sweep. Not looking possible anymore. Almost looking likely instead.
the final game, game number five, will determine which team is able to break through to the top eight. This would help I use land chances so much if they were able to get the win here. Not sure exactly what the point totals are looking like. A two top eights is hardly going to cut it. Going to need a little bit more out of the Hoosiers. Here comes Coda though. No boost. He can send it central. Use a high, high velocity shot to the backboard. Indiana was ready. Boom. From his own back line. Picks up the 100 boost. Gets by one. 50s to his own back half. Uh, you trying to abuse the backboard. But what I think might be key for them is the physical plays. Mario trying to cause some chaos. Get in the way. And to figure out some way to break through. It has not been easy for the Hoosiers. A good fake by Mario. Tried to get it by Boone. Wasn't able to. And now Chab left in a 1v2. This one going central. And Boone going to finish off the open net. Chab just a little bit too slow to the play. Left as the last man had to come up with some kind of touch that didn't result in an immediate shot of opportunity by Wichita State. Just a bit too much for him to do. Mario gets the mid boost. Caused Boone to back off for the moment and a shot easily dealt with by Chab. He gets the 100 boost, fakes over to the wall. Cap is there though. Fuse looking for the top left. An awkward angle, but it stays in the orange half. IU has to battle back from behind. You cannot let the past two games affect you. Try to find your form that you had in the first two games. It's here said that done, a 30 boost for Coda. Pass just a little bit behind Chev. Still in a workable position for Mario. Sends it left side to Coda off the backboard. Chev was looking for the shot. I knew that was probably their best scoring opportunity of the game so far. But they set up a couple more. They're going to need everything that they can get. Cap looking netward and he slips it under. IU's just been a little bit too passive. Both players you see retreating to net. Not going to get the job done. Wichita State doubles up their lead. They've looked excellent in games four, three, four, and five now. But they put in another, a third goal is what they were after. Views couldn't put it past Coda. You can only have a clear as long as Booth. Cap now high in the air. Dunks. He used that one going central. Mario not able to come up with the touch. Coda, however, could he put it through? No. Cap is there. Wichita State just seems to have the answer for anything that IU could send at them. 1-2 passing play in the midfield. Cap, a stalwart on that 50-50. And here comes Mario trying to break out. Almost got the double tap. A low one at that. Time running out for IU. Two minutes left to go. Wichita State just has to hold on. Mario looking for the midfield. Chev, a controlled touch. Pops it up high for a teammate who is going to be there first. IU just doesn't really seem like they want to commit too heavily, but at this point you have to. They're looking to get physical on the back line. Gets a demo on to one, but Chev dunk. That's going to go sailing to the orange half. Coda takes control off his own back line. Carries it above the goal. Mario to his left. Extends it downfield. It's not going to get the job done. However, a 50-50 here might. Cap, that's an awkward touch. Can Chev finish off the play? No. You think that that one has to go in if you're Chev. And a pinch over to the orange half. Not going to help out IU's chances. Time dwindling away. A flip reset for Chev. Coda looking for an extending touch. IU panicking now. 
They need something to click on the offensive end. That one's going to be a disastrous bounce for their chances. Chab gets the 50, though. This could be scorable, but Boone comes in out of nowhere. Mario puts in the shot. Top left is what he was looking for. A flip reset for Chab, but he was off the backboard. You see, they're trying their best to create quality scoring opportunities. This one could be making its way through. Kona keeps IU's hopes alive. Off the hood of Kapu. If he was just a little bit further forward, would have had that one saved away. 23 seconds now. What can we see out of IU's kickoff? It goes back right towards Kota. That's where they wanted it to go. To the back wall now. Boone there waiting. Chab trying to stick close. A bump. Chab and Kota bumped into each other. Mario's not able to beat Cap to the ball. Hughes going to make this one so difficult for Kota to work with. They've got to keep it up if you're IU. Kota racing to the ball. It stays up for now. Mario with a pinch. And that one kills I use major hopes falling in game number five.